There he is again. The State Fair, where the teddy bears are the size of real bears and it'll cost you a mortgage to win them. Kidding. But fair games, or carny games as they're called, they come with a stigma. And that's something that the fair is trying to clean up. So here's a few facts and secrets about the games of the mighty Midway. At the State Fair Midway, everyone's a winner. For a price. How much money did you guys spend? Way more than we needed to. 60, 50 bucks. I'm sorry, say that again? 60, 50 bucks. We don't give you a small price here. No tricks or gimmicks, it's just physics. All right, I'm gonna try it. In fact, some of these games are so difficult, one could assume uh, they are rigged. Are these games rigged? No, no, they are games of skill. You just simply have to have the skill that the game requires to win it. Come on in, come on in. For most of us, that skill needs to be learned, which means you need experience. That is so close. Which means you need repetitions. Step on in, step on in. Which means money. I got lucky. But for super clutch winners like Jill and Ken Campbell, Get on it. a first try is all they need. Oh, this game is understanding the skill. There are 47 games in the mighty midway, some new, some classic, but these aren't your old carny scams. The weighted milk cans, the oval shaped basketball rims are gone to history, the fair says. The stereotype is that a lot of these games are rigged, rigged against you. Is that true? No, it's, it's not true. And especially here, you know, we've got a really stringent inspection policy. You know, whether it's the rims on the basketballs, whether it's the level of the pool tables, and those, we pop in and we check those, you know, every other day, and they know that we're looking for those things. Just pick it up and give it a nudge. They also check the payouts. While each game vendor is independent of the fair, the fair requires that for every $100 spent, at a minimum, $25 in prizes goes back to the customer. Unless you're Jill and Ken Campbell. Everybody's independent? Everybody's independent. So. Each, each of these because games are... <laughs> these are our ringers. See, there you go. That was basketball. The basketball, see? Maybe that's just not your game. Man, they're good. Three tickets right now. Okay, if you're not Jill and Ken, the house typically has a sizable advantage because average folks don't practice these games in these conditions. Roughly half of the games dole out a prize every time. Oh. And generally speaking, the bigger the prize hanging up there, the tougher the contest. We want the guest experience to be good. You know, we, we look at games here as basically as another way of merchandising or selling things to the customer and, and creating an experience for them. Unless you're Jill and Ken Campbell. You can go and take out your frustrations there. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? They're winners. They're winners. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Can we go play the lottery together? There you go. All in all, if you want to win easily, practice at home first. But like a casino, you're paying for failure. I mean, fun. Unless you know a Jill and Ken Campbell. They were total ringers. That's one of their prized possessions right there. All right. Uh, if you win at that bottle up game that we showed you, where you have the little fishing thing and you try to pull it up, they take your picture. Everybody cheers. Yay, right? Pretty neat. It's not really what's going on. The fair tells me that what they're really doing is taking your mug shot for employees to study you. You're not supposed to win more than three prizes per day, and that's how they catch you. Just a heads up. Well,